Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. In this video, we are discussing equation reducible to exact. Okay, that is rule 4 and rule 5. In the earlier videos, we have discussed the rule 1. Rule 1 is inspection method. Rule 2 is homogeneous type. Rule 3 is y, d, y into fxy dx plus x into gxy dy is equal to 0 type. These three are we are discussing. Now rule 4. Rule 4 is rule 4 and rule 5 almost similar. Okay. Now you see if the given differential equation mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 is not exact. Then find out dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x. Dou m by dou y and dou n by dou x. If it is not satisfying the above rules. Inspection method, homogeneous method and the y, y into fx by dx plus x into gx by dy method. If it is not satisfying, then you can go for this one. In this case, what you have to means, find out dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. Right. After that, if you divide with n, you will get a function in terms of x. If you divide with n, means this n, if you divide it, then you will get function in terms of x. Is a function in terms of x alone, then integrating factor is e to the power of integral of f of x dx. Once again, I am repeating. You see, dou m by dou y, dou n by dou x, find out. Dou m by dou y not is equal to dou n by dou x, then only it is called non-exact. Na? That time, you have to verify ins inspection method, homogeneous method, and y into fx y dx plus x into gx y dy method, we will check. If not satisfying any of three, then find out dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. Now, divide with n possible or m possible, check it. If it is divide with n possible, then divide with n, then you will get a function in terms of x. Then integrating factor in this case is e to the power of integral of f of x dx. Same procedure for this is rule 4. Rule 4. Now rule 5 we are discussing. Same. What you have to means? Do m by do y minus do n by do x. Do it. If divide with n is not possible, then check divide with m is possible or not. If divide with m is possible, then you will get a function in terms of y alone. Here x alone. Here y alone. Then in this case integrating factor is e to the power of integral minus g of y dy. Okay, same procedure. What we have to do means dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x find out. Divide with n possible, then function in terms of x alone. Then integrating factor is this one. If divide with m possible, then you will get g of y function. Y is in alone. Function is in terms of y alone. Now in this case, integrating factor is e to the power of minus g of y dy. See some authors, they will say like this. Dou n by dou x minus dou m by dou y. 1 by m if I done, then you will get g of y form. Then in this case, integrating factor is e to the power of integral g of y dy. Here both are same only. You see, y I wrote minus means, here minus if I multiply it, then what I will get? Same term or not? Instead of uh, writing this one, I choose this one uh, because we are finding dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x common for both. If you divide with n, then you will get function in terms of x. If it is divided with m, function in terms of y, you will get. So this is a, I am thinking this is a best method for you to get the solution easily, to understand easily. Now we will solve the problems based on this. Friends, also, uh, solved problems I will give in the description, description uh, link I will give in the description, you can download it, okay? First problem, solve xy square minus e to the power of 1 by x cube dx minus x square y dy is equal to 0. Now this is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Now write down what is m, what is n. Okay. Now find out dou m by dou y, dou n by dou x. Is dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x? No. If dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x, then that is uh, exact. Then in that case, you can, you know that uh, integrating, uh, you no need to go for integrating factor. Exact means directly you can do the integration. You will get the general solution. Now here both are not equal. So this is non-exact. Non-exact means to get the integrating factors, we have a uh, different types. Na? What are the first type here? Inspection method. Can you divide with something or else multiplying by rearranging? Will you get the inspection method? No. So not possible inspection. Is it homogeneous? Check it. Degree 3. Can you say the degree of this? No. Non-homogeneous. Is it like y into dx? Y you can take common. From this y, where is y? Is it like a uh, fx y term? No. So Second, rule 3 is also not possible. Rule 1 is inspection is not possible. Homogeneous not possible. In, uh, and third one is y into fx y dx plus uh, x into gx y dy is also not possible. Is equal to 0. Right. Now go for dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. Dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. 2xy minus 2xy minus of minus plus. So 4xy by 
what you have n see divide with n na divide with m first to check it m is containing how many terms two terms n is containing one term so divide with i have minus 4x divide with this is better or this is better this is not possible so divide with n is possible that is why divide with n divide with n divide with n so now we are x x cancel y y cancel then i will have minus 4 by x this is in terms of x alone you see yes if you divide with n you will have a function in terms of x alone then in this case integrating factor is e to the power of integral f of x dx plus i root if it is a y then you will have minus g of y dy right minus 4 outside then 1 by x uh, integration is log x e, e this is you will have a log x power minus 4 e log getting cancelled then x power minus 4 that is 1 by x to the power of 4 is an integrating factor now multiply integrating factor then you know the general solution m into dx plus n into dy if you multiply 1 by x power 4 then you will have a new equation that is m1 dx plus n1 dy is equal to 0 which is obviously exact differential equation you know the exact differential equation how to solve yes or no that what is that integral of m1 dx integral of m1 dx integral of n1 dy and integral 0 where y is a constant here free from no x term free from x term now if you simplify this xx cancel then y square by x cube this is 1 by x power 4 e to the power of 1 by x cube same here uh, x square x power 4 means x square you have but uh, this is nth term so don't take uh, x term means here nothing else so 0 only dy integral 0 is c now integration uh, with respect to uh, x we are doing so y is a constant y take outside y square 1 by x cube this is as it is now you see e to the power of 1 by x cube into functions two functions you have but exponential function is containing 1 by x cube so how to get a solution means this is e power f of x into f dash of x form you have to verify 1 by x cube is equal to t if you consider that implies minus 1 minus 3 by this is x power minus 3 i can add x power minus 3 by minus 4 dx is equal to dt so minus 3 by x to the power of 4 dx is equal to dt so what i can write here you see just minus is there what is left here 3 only left so multiply with the 3 and divide with the 3 this 3 is inside then you can write this is e to the power of t integration e power t t is nothing but 1 by x cube is equal to c now you see you on simplifying you will have minus this is 3 and this is 2 lcm is 6 6 goes to this side 6 is c minus 3 y square by x square minus 2 e power 1 by x cube is equal to 6 is c 6 is c i can write as c1 next problem solve x y cube plus y dx plus 2 times half x square y square plus x plus y power 4 into dy is equal to 0. Now the given differential equation is in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. How to solve this one means separate m separate n dou m by dou y dou n by dou x is both are equal if it is equal then exact not equal therefore non-exact non-exact means you have different types rule 1 rule 2 rule 3 rule 4 rule 5 rule 1 rule 1 is inspection method can you rearrange the terms y dx is there here you cannot separate them so it is not possible next if you take an uh, homogeneous I'll check it degree 4 degree 1 non-homogeneous so you cannot apply rule 2 rule 3 you go for rule 3 rule 3 is y you can take common but x y square is there x square y square should be but here you have only x y square so can you go for a y into fx y dx plus x into gx y dy? No. So rule 3 is also not possible. Now rule 4. Rule 4 or rule 5, what you have to do? Dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. Do it. Dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. 3 minus 4. How much? Minus x square y square. 1 minus 2 minus 1. So minus is common. Then you will have minus of x y square plus 1. Now here it is containing how many terms? 2 terms. Now check it with the n. This is m. This is m. And this is n, this is m, this is n. Divide with n is possible, two terms, three terms. Of course, two terms is also there. You have to verify. Are you getting the same term in the numerator? Is there any common in the numerator and denominator? If it is a not common, then don't take n. Now check with m. m means x, y, q plus y. So here y you can take common. Then you will have, excuse me, uh, this is n, this is m. Divide with n is possible. No. Divide with m I am checking. Divide with m is y is common x y square plus 1 see x y square plus 1 you have so divide with n is possible m is possible that m i wrote this is minus x square plus 1 by x y q plus y so y is a common this two terms are getting cancelled minus 1 by y is g of y 
earlier we discussed what is the integrating factor if you have g of y yes that is e to the power of minus g of y dy minus of minus plus e to the power of 1 by y integration is log y if e log getting cancelled then you will have y so integrating factor is y multiply y then you will have what exact differential equation so y into this term y into this term i have done then this is new equation m1 dx plus n1 dy which is an exact then the general solution is integral of m1 dx plus n1 dy is equal to c y is a constant no x term then here y power 4 x plus y square dx here no x term means here it is containing x term don't take this is also containing x term don't take 2y into y square y power 4 is 2y power 4 dy is equal to c integration y power 4 is constant x integration x square by 2 y square is a constant uh, 1 integration x plus y integration y now so y power 6 by 6 2 1s are 2 2 3s are 6 so this is the general solution of the given problem i think you understood clearly here it is very very easy what to do means just dou m by dou y dou n by dou x take it not exact then method 1 is inspection method 2 homogeneous method 3 y into f x y dx plus x into g x y dy method 4 find out dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x with the n possible or m possible with the n is possible suppose then you will have f of x is a function if m is possible then you will have divide with m is possible then you will have g of y is a function you will get okay na? now one more problem we are going to discuss in this video just to find the integrating factor nothing else no need to solve a complete problem find the integration now it is in the form of m dx plus n dy yes or no yes now dou m y dou y check it dou m y dou y is 0 and this is 12 y square plus this is 12 now dou n by dou x dou n by dou x is 3 x is the see 3 times of 1 plus y square is a constant x derivative is what you have 1 so this is dou m by dou y dou n by dou x is both are equal no so what you can say non exact non exact means first inspection method can you rearrange this check it it is not possible is it homogeneous check it is 6x square 4y cube non homogeneous degree 2 degree 3 non homogeneous now if you take in y is a common 12 this is okay but this is x y square term is there x square term here no here also you cannot get y common so it is not a function of f x y so rule 3 is also not possible rule 4 rule 4 what we have to do dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x simply dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x check it 12y square minus 3y square how much 9y square plus 12 minus 3 how much 9 so 9 is a common then you will have 1 plus y square now dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x divide with m possible or n possible divide with m you see 1 2 3 3 terms even if it is 2 terms also but it should be cancelled simplifying it should be simplified but it is not simpl simplified so what you have to do here take n m is not possible so 1 by n into dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x 1 by n what is n you have written 3 times of x into 1 plus y square into 9 times of 1 plus y square so this 1 plus y square 1 plus y square cancel 3 1s are 3 3 3s are 9 so 3 by x that is nothing but f of x so what is integrating factor now integrating factor is e to the power of integral of f of x dx e to the power of integral 3 by x i can write as 3 times of 1 by x dx so e to the power of 3 into integral of 1 by x is log x so this is e to the power of log x whole cube e log getting cancelled then x cube is an integrating factor is it clear for everyone how to get the integrating factor for the non-exact differential equation yes one more problem also m dx plus n dy dou m by dou y check it dou m by dou y dou m by dou y is equal to 3y square dou n by dou x dou n by dou x means x is a constant oh, sorry x into y square y square is a constant x derivative 1 both are not equal so not equal means non-exact then non-exact means what you have to do inspection method is possible can you rearrange the terms divide with something you cannot get now homogeneous huh? degree 3 degree 3 but degree is here so x power 0 degree 1 here so degree 0 here so non-homogeneous non-homogeneous means method next one y into f x y dx is like y into f x x y term huh? is it a function of x y no so that rule 3 is also not possible now rule 4 rule 5 we are check it 
Now dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. Dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x. This is equal to dou m by dou y 3y square. 3y square minus y square is equal to 2y square. Now divide with m possible? No. Divide with n possible? Yes. So 1 by n times of dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x is equal to 2y square by xy square. y square y square cancel. Then you have 2 by x. So f of x. Then what is integrating factor is here. If it is a function in terms of x, e to the power of integral of f of x to dx. That is e to the power of 2 times of 1 by x to dx. So e to the power of 2 log x. Simply x square is an integrating factor. So like this we have to solve these type of the problems. Type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, type 5 is completed. In the next video, what I will do means match the following. Suppose if they are given a problem, which one is an integrating factor? How to identify the given function? Rule 1, rule 2, rule 3, rule 4, rule 5. Okay, na? Please watch my next video also to get complete, uh, uh, you will get a complete uh, picture. Which method is you have to use? How to find the integrating factor? Thank you for watching this video.